Hello children, can you touch your heart and lungs as you touch your eyes and ears? No, you can't. This is because heart, lungs, brain are all internal organs of our body. Our body has 206 bones and when all these bones are joined together, they form a skeleton. Like a hanger gives a framework to a shirt, likewise our skeletal system gives framework to our body. Bones protect the inner delicate organs of the body. For example, bones of the head protect the brain. The ribs protect the heart and lungs. We have bones of different shapes and sizes. Every bone is joined to another bone at least by one joint. Let us study about them in detail. Skull is also called a brain box as it protects the brain. The front part of the head is made up of 14 facial bones and upper part is made up of 8 flat bones. All these bones are interlocked tightly with one another which makes the joints immovable. The only bone that can move in the skull is lower jaw which enables us to talk and eat. The spine is attached to the head and is made up of 33 small irregular bones. Each bone is known as a vertebra, having a hole in the center to let the spinal cord pass through. The first seven vertebrae are in the neck and support head and the rest support the ribs and the back. It is made up of 12 pairs of thin, flat, irregular and curved bones which are attached at the back to the vertebral column and in front to the breast bone. However, the last two pairs of ribs are attached at the back but not in front. So they are known as floating ribs. Rib cage protects the heart and lungs. Arms and legs are known as the limbs. The bones of the arms are attached to the shoulder and the bones of the legs are attached to the hip. These two girdles help the limbs to be attached to trunk. Each limb has 30 bones. Therefore, the total number of bones in the limbs is 120. The longest bone in our body is femur, thigh bone, which is in the leg. Do you know? There are three small bones in the ear, out of which the smallest is stapes. A point at which two or three bones meet is known as joint. The tissue that joins bone to bone is known as ligament. Joints are of different types. They may be fixed joints or movable joints. Fixed joints are seen in the skull. Movable joints are of four types. They are ball and socket joint, hinge joint, pivot joint and gliding joint. Shoulder joint and hip joint are the examples of this joint. In ball and socket joint, one of the bones has rounded head which is the ball. This ball fits into a cup shaped end of other bone. The cup-shaped part of the bone is known as socket. Because of ball and socket joint, we can move our hands and legs in all directions. Hinge joint is formed between two or more bones where the bones can only move along one direction. Knee and elbow joints are examples of hinge joint. This joint helps us to fold the legs and hands in only one direction. Pivot joint allows a rotation. It is found between the skull and the first two vertebrae of the spine. This joint helps us to move the head in all directions, like forward and sideways, up and downwards, except backwards. A gliding joint allows smooth and easy movements. We can turn our wrist or ankle and bend our back easily due to this joint. Ankle and wrist joints are the examples of gliding joint. It protects all the delicate internal organs. Bone marrow of long bones helps in making blood cells. It helps us to walk. It gives support and shape to the body. It is a storehouse of calcium and phosphorus. Do you know? Our nose tip and ears are made up of special tissue known as cartilage. It is not hard like bone but gives support to organs. Name the type of joints which are taken into use when you do the following activities. Rotate your neck while doing exercise. It is the pivot joint. Bend down to touch the ground. It is the gliding joint. 
climb the staircase. It is the ball and socket joint. Amazing fact! Sharkfish has no bone but only cartilage, tissue similar to bones but comparatively soft. Such fish are called cartilaginous fish. Most of the part of the body are made up of muscles. There are about 650 muscles in our body. Some of them are attached to the bones and some are not. The tissue that joins muscle to bone is known as tendon. The muscles that are attached to the bones are known as skeletal muscles as they are in our control. They are also known as voluntary muscles. The other types of muscles present in our body are known as involuntary muscles as they are not in our control. They are of two kinds named as cardiac muscles and smooth muscles. Voluntary muscles have stripes and are attached to skeleton with the help of tendons. Muscles and bones together make us move. Cardiac muscles are found only in heart. These muscles need continuous supply of energy as they have to work without rest. Our digestive system is mostly made up of smooth muscles. These are not in our control. Most skeletal muscles act in pairs. One muscle pulls the bone by contracting. The other relaxes and gets longer to allow movement. Muscles do their work by pulling and not by pushing. Let us summarize. Our body has different external and internal parts. The framework of bones is known as skeleton. Joints and muscles work together to make us move. Muscles are attached to bones with the help of tendons. Ligaments help in attaching bone to bone. We have 206 bones and about 650 muscles in our body. There are three types of muscles. They are skeletal muscles, smooth muscles and cardiac muscles.